Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. Instead of going forward with things that are coming out, we're going to go backwards with things that were out a long time ago. In this case, 2009, 2010. This is an entire set of drag strip demons. I just purchased the entire set yesterday. Something I haven't done in a while, where I just literally ponied up a good chunk of money to buy an entire set. I, the drag strip demons have been on my want list for a while. It was something that I didn't have the appreciation for when they were out uh, 13, 14 years ago that it kind of over time built up and it's something I've really regretted that I never got. But here I am, I've got the set. Here's the cool circumstances here. Um, I bought this from my friend Mike, UT underscore Mike on Instagram. Uh, we had uh, the unfortunate event that it, there was a, a collector here locally who unexpectedly passed away very suddenly um, a few months ago. And one thing that Mike did uh, was take this, this collector's entire collection uh, from the family and sell it and use all those funds to create a college fund for this collector's kids. So this collection, so sometimes we get mad about people buying and selling stuff. I have to tell you, this guy's collection uh, is now converted into the funds to take these kids, for these kids to be able to go to college when they get older. And I think that's a great use of a collection and it's a very, very cool thing. And then there's a bunch of collectors that were able to buy these models and uh, have what they want in their collection. So I think that's always kind of a cool way it kind of circles circles through. Anyway, this opportunity came up. Instead of piecing it together, I was able to get the whole collection, and here it is. We're going to go through it. I'm going to dedicate several videos to this set, actually, only because now I'm going to show you what I bought today. That's going to be pretty basic. We're going to walk through them almost like an unboxing, but these are going to get opened, and I am actually going to be spending the next few days. Uh, I'm taking some time off uh, from what I normally do each week, my normal job and things, and I'm actually going to be dedicating some time to reorganizing my displays. I'm moving my Tomica Limited Vintage Collection um, or displays to a new location, and I'll document that later, but I am going to be moving a more permanent Hot Wheels Premium Collection. As you know, on my walls, I've got car culture all laid out. I've got um, RLC and a bunch of other stuff, and I'm going to start kind of moving some of the older premium, like vintage racing, uh, the Hot Wheels racing sets and things um, to a permanent uh, permanent displays, my white displays, and uh, and I'll be doing that this week. And I'm very excited to have the drag strip demons because they're going to add them next to the vintage racing. And I'll document all of that. We're going to open these up like I would a normal showcase in future videos, and uh, we'll get to that. A little bit of background on the drag strip demons. This is a little bit of a longer video. I think you'll enjoy it. Many of you are familiar with the drag strip demons. They actually use that name in a car culture set later on with a bunch of gassers. Um, some of you are not. This will be new for you and uh, prepare to see some really, really cool stuff. Um, 2009, 2010, vintage racing came out. 30 cars didn't perform as Hot Wheels had hoped. And uh, that was discontinued. Now that set is almost of legendary status. The BRE Dotson came from that set. Some of the cars command a hefty, hefty amount of uh, uh, value. There was the Hot Wheels racing set that came out after that. They did an NHRA set. They did an off-road racing. They did the racing set that had the Greenwood Corvette, which, is, as you know, is an all-time favorite of mine. But these cars were all premium, all real riders, and all super detailed. And, and during that time, too, they did the Drag Strip Demons. The Drag Strip Demons were ultra-detailed, licensed, fully licensed. There's some exceptions to it, but most of the cars fully licensed vintage ra drag racers, so funny cars. AFX cars, all in that kind of funny car, kind of like modified, um, experimental, you know, factory experimental range. This is something that these crazy liveries and everything else was something I just didn't have the connection to. But when you start gaining like the Greenwood Corvette, the modified racing Corvettes, and then the super silhouettes from Japan and seeing like an R30, a DR30 a skyline turned into this wide, crazy stuff. And we've seen like the popularity of those and kind of revisiting those lately in the JDM world. Some of the European cars, you know, that, uh, that we've seen, uh, you know, not only just rally cars, but some of these other cars. You just see this history of racing and you just start gaining a certain appreciation. Well, I love so many of these American race cars from the 70s, 80s, 60s. We've seen the popularity of gassers and things. And uh, the drag strip demons really captured that. If they were to release this now, it might be a totally different kind of vibe and feel. And I wonder if we're going to see more of these funny cars emerge in like car culture. We are seeing them in Team Transport. The Snake and Mongoose were in Team Transport not, uh, what, two, three years ago. 
and we've seen the second one. And when I do the, the next team transport showcase, we'll open this one up. Um, but here is the, uh, the, Plum the Plymouth Cuda uh, funny car. This is, I think, the, this is the second snake car uh, that they're doing. And we're going to see snake and mongoose emerge here. So the, the snake and mongoose history is a whole nother video. I'm actually having some, uh, some friends help me. Derek uh, Dumas helped me gain that history. Nonetheless, let's just do an unboxing. And I'll show you these cars. And then as we showcase them, and I'm going to open them up later, you'll see, um, you know, like kind of what we're doing. And I put them in the wall displays. So I'm going to go basically three by three and show you these cars and try and get them organized. 2009, there were 29 released. 2010, there were 26. The numbering gets a little weird. You'll see that. But let's just get right to it. There's the art. The art is the same on every car. So I don't have to show those every time. Um, and this is what the car looks like. This is what the back looks like. These are actually in really, really good shape. It's unfortunate I'm going to open them, but um, it's. Uh, but I really want to display these. That's why I bought them. Um, Mongoose McEwen's English Leather Corvette. We'll get into a little bit more of the history when we do the showcase because I'm going to break it up a little bit. But you can see this is an actually this is a beautiful casting. Um, some of the castings are a little rough. They came from an older era, and then other castings were actually built and released during this time, or they came from when they were doing these more realistic style casting. This is number six of 30, so I'm going to kind of move it here because you're going to see how I'll lay these out. This is number seven of 30. This is Roland Leong's Hawaiian Charger. Notice, like, the licensing here, not only do you have, and like I said, I'm learning too, like, what is actually licensed and what is maybe something that the Hot Wheels team made up, but you get all of the sponsors, all of the decals, you get the details, front, back, everything, and, uh, you know, when we open them up. This one is a wheel variation. This is the lace wheel. There's a five spoke in here somewhere, so we'll get to that. That's number seven. Number eight is Butch Leal's 427 Thunderbolt. This isn't a funny car per se, right? It's not the one that has the fiberglass body that you open to get into, but still these cars were considered kind of, you know, they were, they were factory modified. Uh, the Thunderbolt's a little different, but, uh, you know, made for drag racing, right? This is number eight. So one other thing to know, the number 28 of 30, the number of 30, those are the cars from 2000, I'll tell you. These are the 2009. There was 29 cars in that set. When it says 2008, that means they were released in 2009. And then the 2010, the number is a little different. You'll see that. So this is number 20. This is, oh, there's, your, there's your mongoose. Ton of snake and mongoose. This is mongoose 2 Plymouth Duster. 28 here because that's towards the end. Yeah, 29 and 30. 1971 Mustang funny car. This is the go to blazes car. This is actually, I think, a rare one because one that was hard to uh, to find back in the day. And I see a lot of people who are collecting that are looking for that one. Um, that's one of the fortunate things of buying the whole set. This is Bruce Lar Larson's USA one Camaro. We'll see a few with this kind of USA type of livery on it. Appropriate for the time, the era and the cars being used in these sets. Right. So we're seeing all of these numbers. These are all from those first 30 you'll see, it's actually 29 because number 18 would, was never released and so this is 14 another ford thunderbolt this is the mariposa mauler matheson uh what is that see i think this one actually might be this one might be made up i'm not sure i'll have to look it up they're they're all true like history lessons these cars um you can go and look them up like this one here you talk about funny cars this is Dick Landy 65 Coronet AFX. A AF, the FX means factory experimental. They obviously moved the rear wheels up to kind of create a different uh, weight distribution, right, for this drag race car. Um, we saw the Coronet. It came in this set. I think there are two or three versions of it, and then it just vanished until the drag strip demons in car culture a few years ago. I'd love to see this casting released again. It's super, super cool. Love the, wee the wheels and all the details. These are just amazingly high, high premium cars. Just everything about it. Anyway, that's number 15. And number 16, Don Prudhomme's Army Snake Cuda. So there's another Don Prudhomme. We're going to see Don Prudhomme and, and Tommy Kewen a lot. I hope I'm saying Don Prudhomme's name right. I'm so used to Snake and Mongoose, right? That's number 16. All right, so the numbering is a little different. Notice this is number 14 of 30. This is 25 dash of 23. So this is the 2010 set. I bet it says 2009 there. Yep, right there. Um, look at the details here. This is the War Eagle 77 Firebird. The 77 Firebird casting is amazing. Look at the wheels on that too. We've seen those wheels show up a little bit on the gassers. 
the Apoldi's War, e War Eagle. So put that over there. Number 24, another one that I love. This, this 70 Camaro casting might be my favorite. Funny car casting. This is Dick Harrell's 70 Camaro FC. That's number 24. And number 25, Justin Grant's Don Shoemaker's Stardust. This is, a, this is a CUDA, right? Yeah, that's the CUDA, which we've seen this casting in Team Transport. In fact, it's the one I just showed you, I think. Yeah. All right. Number 13 of 25 is the Bubble Up Pacemaker 77 Firebird. I'm not going to say much about these. I'm just going to show them so you can look at them. There's a little bit of glare, but I want you to just take these in, these Firebird castings. I think this was done in RLC, too. 13 of 25, 14 and 15 there. Chevy Vega. I think that's the first time we've seen that casting. Time Traveler. And the uh, Duster again. I think we've seen the Duster. I love this one. The English Leather Mongoose. So here's, here's good old uh, Tom McEwen again in the English Leather. These names will show up a lot. Tom McEwen and Don Perdome. Look at even, how about these funny cars? BB and Mulligan front engine fuel dragster. They're funny. That's number 12. Here, and then back to the uh, 2010 set. There's your snake and mongoose again. So there's Prudhomme's wedge dragster. These I won't be able to put in my displays. They're just entirely too long. So I'll have to put them in my uh, workbench, but uh, I'll have them. And then the mongoose McEwen's the wedge dragster. So there's good old snake and mongoose. Um, we'll talk more about snake and mongoose, but they, uh, you know, they're famous for creating this rivalry. They were friends. And uh, I think it was McEwen. I think it was McEwen who, uh, who approached Mattel about the sponsorship, and that was beneficial for everybody back in the day. All right, Dodge Cornet AFX. This is the honker. I think that's a tough one to find, another one of those AFX cars. Not necessarily a gasser, even though they look like it. You know, they're, they're lifted in the front, uh, but uh, not gasser by like that 70 or that 55 Bel Air uh, same. It's a little bit later on, you know, that they made these. And I don't know if they're considered gassers really, but they're more AFX cars. Speaking of AFX, here's the Wilshire Shaker Match Bash Nova. A lot of these cars, you know, again, if they're licensed or not, these, you know, this whole scene was kind of born in California. And then Bill Stiles, Superstock Barracuda. Boy, we got these all mixed up. This is number 16. I'm just going through these really with you guys. Uh, 13 and 23. So 13 goes here and 23 goes somewhere around there. There's a Plymouth Arrow FC, the Northwest hitter, Bucky's. Number 24 from 2009, Bruce Larson's USA 1 Camaro. Not to be confused, right? Our Corvette, right? This is the Camaro, there's the Corvette. Oh my gosh, I'm just, this video might end up being like nine hours long because I'm just gonna just stare at these and forget that I'm actually filming because these are just so cool. And then Sox and Martin Superstock Barracuda. There's a wheel variation on this. This one has the wet mag wheels. There's a five spoke version as well. I like the mag wheels better. Maybe I'll pursue the, um, the wheel variation at some point. I don't think it's in here. Another USA one, Bruce Larson's. This here's a Chevy Monza. So now we have a Camaro Corvette and the Monza all in that USA one. Notice the details and the spoiler. This is number 22, Shirley Muldoney's 71 Mustang. 71 Mustang just doesn't have the same. Notice like the big wheel wells. If they were to redo this casting, I think it would be better. And then there's the 64 Ford Thunderbolt Nazy Crate. Okay. Love this one. 69 Dodge Charger FC. Shaky situation. Absolutely beautiful casting. Sorry, I'll create some shadow there. We saw this casting, I think the Dodge Charger casting, it was an RLC party release in pink, right? I think I've got that one. We've seen it as a mail in as well. This is one of the newer castings, like really well done. Just, you know, they've just 
gotten better is, you know, the, the ability to design the way they do has just gotten better and better and better. That's number five. Here's number six. There's Don again. Good old snake, Don Perdome. This is his army uh, Chevy Monza, 1975 Chevy Monza. Snake and mongoose. Snake and mongoose. Snake and mongoose. It just keeps popping up. This might look familiar. Those of you who have been uh, buying uh, some of the new, the Ram Charger, I think they put a Dodge Demon, right, in the basic range with this Deco. Ram Charger's Challenger. Challenger's another casting that's a little bit like, like the Mustang. It's a little older. It doesn't have the same, it's not as precise as the newer castings are. That's number three of 30, so that goes over here. And number four of 30, see, see the 71 Mustang again, just doesn't have the same just doesn't have the same detailing, right? Just doesn't have, does, the ratios, the proportions are just not the same. Still though, decos are fully George Doty's Hot Wheels racing Mustang. Details are there though. There's good old Don, Don Perdome Snake again, this time in black. So there you go there, that's cool. Uh, what is that? That's number one of 30, so that goes over here. Off the, sh off the camera. Number seven of 25 is 77 Corvette, Corvette Mongoose English Leather. So there's Tommy Kewen again, racing a drag Corvette, man. They must have had so much fun, all the different cars they were racing. English Leather, once again, this one's fantastic. The color combination on this is just off the charts cool. So that one goes over here and 65 Dodge Coronet AWB stacked deck. Another one that's kind of hard to find these days. Um, you'll see some pretty pennies going for this one, which is a very, very cool AFX car as well. And that's number 17. So that goes over here. Another Chevy Monza Tiki Warrior in green. Sorry for the shadow. That's number eight. 63 Nova AWB Snake Eyes, far gone. Just love these AFX, like, where the wheels are pushed together. Just, I love these. these. These actually, this one, I actually, all of the AFX cars I already had in my displays, in my collection, because I wanted to pursue them uh, several years ago, but now I've got this uh, carded version. That's number 12. And, oh, there are two number 12s. See, here's where you see the numbers getting messed up. See, number 12 and number 12. And it still equals the 25 or then the 26, like I said. But uh, there are some weird numbers here. You just have to know kind of what you got. This is the Tarmac Twister uh, Plymouth Duster, which I think is a hard one to get as well, too. And I don't know, like, because back in the day, and there are people who know, like, were these just were these released at the same time or is this one released later? And how did they make that mistake? Ultimately, they're both from the same 2010 year. Um, but, uh, yeah, numbered the same, but obviously different. So there's no, I think it's, is it, I actually think there's still a 13 and stuff. It's just kind of, anyway, just kind of messed up. All right. Pure Heaven AA or two AAFA car, uh, another dragster where this is a new style we haven't seen yet. This is number two of 30, number 27 of 30. Now this is Don Perdome Snake 2 Plymouth Cuda. Look at this. So maybe that's one you don't need. Now, there are some differences here. Well, let's just get to that. There's Gary Desham's Teacher's Pet Challenger. That's number nine of 30. So that will go kind of off the camera shot over here. But yeah, see, these are the same. This is the uh, Snake 2 Plymouth Cuda. You can see pretty much the same design. Plymouth with Pennzoil and winds. It might even be more precise now. Flames on the top. It's the exact same casting. I didn't, like the back is different. Look at that. Some more detailed. I don't know if that's something that it's more accurate on the new version for Team Transport. So essentially the same car, right? Okay, number four of 25. 70 Camaro FC Steve Nichols Mill Road Boys Camaro. This is the same kind. Like these Camaro castings, look at the little smiley face there. These Camaro castings with these kind of decos, this is just, look at the tires. These are so high on my list that I'm so excited to have and open up. And as beautiful as these carded cars are, I just want them all displayed together, all lifted up like this. I just love that one. That's number four. Put that there. 
Number 11 is Roland, Roland Leong's Hawaiian Front Engine Dragster. Let's get another one of those. Like there was a, what was the other Hawaiian, right? There's, I'm gonna have to find it, but there's the Hawaiian Charger and the Hawaiian uh, Front Engine Dragster. Here it is. Roland Leong, Roland Leong. How cool is that? All right, that's number 11. Goes right there. And then the Pisano and Matsubara 74 Vega. This one's very cool too. Love the deco on this one. You know, you start putting these together and you start seeing like the history start to kind of make a lot of sense of like that. Why, you know, us collectors, we've kind of, our newer collectors, they're, you know, the flames and the big wheels in the back, you know, that's not necessarily our thing. It's like the more realistic models, but you can see where the influence was coming from these California dragsters and everything, big, fat, slicks in the back, small wheels in the front. That kind of rake is just, was just the way you want to look and it doesn't matter the car. If you could add a rake to it, it was cool. So that's just, you can just see where Hot Wheels history is. Hot Wheels, uh, this is the front engine. This actually has the Hot Wheels logo on it. Hot Wheels front engine fuel dragster. Oh, there's Moon Eyes showing up. 71 Mustang, there's that rough casting, but man, it looks good here. Pluger and Geiger Mustang in black. That's number three of 25. That will go up there. And then another AFX car, Dave Strickler 65 Cornet AFX. Love the mismatch wheels in this one. Love the color, love the deco. That's a favorite, but it's been for a while. I've had that in the collection, right? That's number 10. There's good old Don Perdome's Army Snake Arrow. That's number nine of 25. This is the one I showed earlier. This might be one of my favorites just because I love that. Oh boy, the shadow's really throwing us off here. The rough and tumble deco on this one on the Duster Funny Car. That's number 17 over here. 15, 16, 17. And then this might be a name you're familiar with. Mike Zarnox Altered Roadster. What a cool deal. Mike is not only a Hot Wheels historian and has done, he has the variation books and, you know, has been on shows and everything else and really has, is so closely associated with Hot Wheels, but he is a total gearhead too and loves to do these kind of racing cars. And this is actually a replica of his Altered Roadster. He'll talk about this. He's still, uh, you know, if you can ever get your hands on this, go find him at a convention, have him sign it. Because that's a really cool, what a cool thing. Not only was it just his name on it, but this is his actual car. So really, really special car right there, especially for the Hot Wheels collectors. Um, who know uh, good old Mike and his Hot Wheels TV, he's got a YouTube channel. Been around a long time, cool dude. All right. 70 Dodge Challenger FC Code Red. Challenger casting is not great, but that's number two. Boy, I'm going way up here now. Um, number 25 of 30. There's Don Trubome's Army Snake Vega again. You can see how these show up, and you can start putting them together, and you can see how they work. Um, but, yeah, different. You have the Vega, and I could try and put those all. You can see they're different. Vega and the Cuda. Look the same, but they're different. That's number 16, that's number 25. 16 goes here, 25 goes here. And another one of my favorites, 70 Camaro Funny Car in Gang Green. 70 Dodge Challenger FC All-Star Dodge. Ugly casting, really nicely decoed. English Leather Plymouth Duster, the Duster casting, super, super cool. And there's good old Tommy McEwen again. 1974 Duster. I mean, just look at the decos on this. Mongoose on the hood. Just so impressed with these. You can see the, oh, they don't make them like they used to, kind of. As I mean, car culture is fantastic, but, um, you know, these, and these actually fit in nice. Oh, okay, there's the Hawaiian Charger. There's the wheel variation. So there, we'll pull that out again. Notice, lace wheel, five spoke. So I don't know if I'll open both. Maybe I'll pick the one I like the best. 
and uh, display that one, keep the other one carded. And the last one, just to finish it off, Little Nate's Plymouth Cuda Funny Car, Lil Nate. And that's number 20 of 30, so that goes way up top too. There you go, that is the entire set. Like I said, there's some numbering where there's the there's the duplicate number 12s, there's no 18, and so 12, there's two number 12s in the 2010 set, there's no 18 in the 2009 set. I believe from what I understood, the uh, stacked deck AFX car was added to kind of basically replace the number 18 um, that was missing. So it's 55 cars total. They look phenomenal. I cannot wait to open them. Uh, what a cool thing. I haven't done that where I bought a whole set. Uh, I haven't done that in a while, but uh, what a treat. You guys tell me what you think. There'll be a part two. There'll be a part three. Might even be a part four. I'm going to dedicate a lot to these, and they deserve it. Who collects these? Who wants them? Who's going to pursue them? You guys let me know. Thanks, everybody. Bye.